Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. She looks you right in the eye and lies. I guess like Trump. Our friend Eileen here from McDonald's. Is she lying about her and Ray? She is just a freak obsessive. Is Eileen a chronic obsessive liar? That's not a good trait. Nope. Uh, Why I because then you lose your integrity completely. Nobody will believe anything you say. You the boy who cry wolf. It's not just lies, she lies, she lies. Todd, Todd. No more my guy, huh? That, that. Oh, she stopped talking about yeah, that, that, right? What you cornered her with that shit? Where are you going tonight? Not late oh. time. They went out of business. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a major headline on the news today. No more food for Karen. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Now you can even see how dense that is. I tell you that I'm so glad all these moved to this area. Try to pick your ass. Maybe it'll be a suppository. Looks like it came from. No, it's really thick and heavy. Mm. Okay. Thick and heavy? Yeah. One can but wish. That's one of your players club jokes, I guess, I at the bar. I had so many. <laughs> yeah, aside from Chief Wahoo, the Cleveland Indians, the Washington Redskins are an old team. I didn't know how old they are. Yeah. Didn't realize they were like close to 80 years old. Oh, yeah. And they, and they tried one year to put a spear on the side of the helmet. No, they did have a spear. I mean, those fans have no prejudice against Native Americans. Ridiculous. And you know, and you know what the dude from Cleveland says? That's going to hurt merchandise sales because a lot of people are going to get pissed. Well, it's not just that. The bottom line is, stop your bitching. It's petty. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Leave it alone. All this time, and now you've got to open your damn mouth. Shut up. With all the serious problems we have in this country, and they're bitching about a logo. The more important thing. Yeah, the home. Why do you cater to them? Any good. If I was, you know, me as a politician, if I was, I'd say, yeah. Make your point. Okay. What about it? Well, it's bad, 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 bad. No, it's not. Go on, please continue. I just said, no, it's not. Yeah. It's not they'll, they'll protest about that silly stuff, but they won't protest about the homeless population going higher and higher. Like in L.A. I don't hear your bitch. 
I would just yes you. I said, okay. It's a freaking what logo. What do you do about it? <laughs> Nothing. It's just a, a smiling red face of a native, of, an Indian on the hat. Big deal. Yeah, God help you if you show a happy, smiling Indian. Huh? Happy. He's happy. Okay. Now, if he was um, upset. Ma'am, I don't know what to do. I have a phone. Would you like me to call the police for you? I don't know what else to do. What about, I'm not going to do anything. What if the Pittsburgh Penguin hockey team, where all of a sudden the Penguins start protesting in so the, the South National, Pole? whatever, Penguin Society. Penguin Society. Peter, Peter was saying you're making make penguins look bad. See, the bottom line is you don't cater to things like this. You tell them right off the bat. Po so. Politicians are afraid to say no, like a lot of parents. But wouldn't I be, be a bitch politician then? I tell you, yeah, you and me both. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I said, if you want me to do something, you're talking to the wrong guy. Because you don't walk on eggshells for nobody. No, I, I, I say, I go by what I believe in, what I and I, I, I hey. don't think my beliefs are more right than the majority of people. What does an umpire do when people fight with him? He throws you out of the game. I know, that's so quick too, but all overly quick. So yeah, that's true. Well, that's that's kind of an ego thing. I huh? stand there and let him go. I go, are you done? Okay, let's play ball. Play ball! Remember what Earl Weaver and Billy Martin oh, used to do? They used to kick dirt, dirt on the home oh, plate. Argument, so what? Shut up, settle it. Oh, we're over, we're done, okay? okay? I can't argue with the guy. You know what? I'll kick dirt on. I'm going to kick you out of the game because you're up hard and sucks. Right? You know, it's like Supreme Court justices being in for 50 years or that's life. Or, that should be term limits. That's horrible. I don't it's the only thing that's not term limits. I don't believe it. Yo, what if uh, what if a Supreme Court judge starts off being normal and then all of a sudden, ten years down the road, they lose their mind? Well, oh, that's different. No, no. Could they? Could they? Yeah, that's different. Impeach, right? Uh, no, it's a certain article where you could be removed for for reasons where you're unable to do your duty. Mental instability. Yeah, no, that's different. That's different. So no, there are things in there. That but but there is an article about presidents being mentally unstable. Amendment right? 25, or Article 25, whatever it is. Which the Republicans are ignoring, obviously. Somebody was debating me a little bit yesterday saying, so why? Guys do all kinds of bad stuff when they're in high school and college. Not they, all guys do. What, what, is, what argument is that? What, they, they're what, young, he, they well, said. We were young too. I don't remember us doing anything like this. What are you talking about? What's your yeah, point? we never raped anybody. Yeah, what's your point? I know a lot of my friends, if we saw somebody raping, we'd knock the shit out of them. So what is your point? In college. So, so, right out. so just because you're 17, that means you... That's no argument. <clears throat> don't give the boys a word voice. I played football 37 years. Don't give me excuse that locker room talk. No. In all my locker rooms, I never heard a lot of that bullshit talk. Now, we had class for some reason. Why do you think that is? You then, then they shut right up. You probably set the right example. They shut right up. No, God, I fucked this girl last night. I did this. I, no, I never heard anything. Never. So don't give me the locker room excuse. Yeah. Well, anybody. Boy, that who, angers me when I hear that. Anybody, that makes me mad. Anybody who speaks about their wife or serious girlfriend that way that's disrespectful i'm sorry i would just say you know I've heard that. I've that. i think you're an asshole it's none of my business i don't want to no, hear it i don't, don't want to hear, hear what you did Bubba Vice, are you getting mad at me then why did you tell me did you expect me to agree with you you know what that means you're an idiot and more yeah i'm getting sick of these fucking people i have no powers well, they'll they'll flat out, you know. People when people can't win a debate, they start to resort to name calling. No. And you know what? So why are we debating? Why do we have to be so thin skinned nowadays? Yeah, why debate? Because, oh, I'm gonna get mad. Oh, why do you warn me before the debate? By the way, if you don't agree with me, I'm gonna get mad. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. It's like when you come here early in the morning and you guys have your discussions, right? We go at it. We go at it. We disagree a lot. Nobody walks, what are you nuts? I'm a motto. We have fun, we laugh, but we discuss them. Oh man, Ancient Aliens last night, holy crap, was it a great show. Every week, every 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 week they have like a new a new well, theme. What was last about, Jerry? No, if they just show more and more evidence of, of extraterrestrial involvement. They're the only thing that backs their, backs their findings up. 
They dissect the Bible, the Quran, all the like, religion is bullshit. You know that. Come on, man. Did I ever ask about religion with this? Here you go. Are any of the world's religions correct or right? Is religion a total load of bullshit? There you go. That's what Jesse Ventura said. You just got your double answer right there. Right there. Are any of the world's religions right or correct? Oh, I know what the theme that blew me away was. Artificial intelligence today, the robots actually develop a personality as you speak to them and they had an expo in las vegas and they had the ceo of the, mo the top robotics company displayed a woman a realistic looking female that has has actual nerve sensors in her hand that can converse with you with normal facial expressions oh, I think I thought it was a story of marriage. Well, he sex called partner, it, he called he called it a sex doll, but she they said this is way beyond a damn sex doll. What happens when they argue better than a human? Someday they're going to get together and say, "Hey, you know what? These humans, they're obsolete. They're they're inferior." Well, they're really that's been discussed for a long time. Yeah. I've been waiting for that for decades. Nobody listens. Um, all back to dad. The late, can't get through to The people. late Stephen Hawkins said yep. this is going to get out of hand. The uh, artificial. So again, where, where did you get to the point where it's really not artificial? What do you mean by artificial intelligence? A computer that can feel. Because maybe it's got a brain. They can see you. They can feel. But uh, is that artificial? Like, like if they can walk in and look at you and say, "That's William Moore." Is that artificial? Or is that alternative intelligence? There you go, bingo. There you go. Is it artificial or uh, alternative? Yeah. Intelligence? When does it become? When does it go from artificial to alternative? You're right about that. Eileen is not intelligence. Well, I, Eileen is. Where's, where's our girlfriend? I think I think aliens took her, Karen. And they still have her? That's what's amazing about it. They haven't brought her back? Anybody that, any alien that abducts her is going to bring her back within minutes. Can you take her to the and die or leave her there? Uh, well, I, I'm surprised she even has a driver's license. I mean, that, that numbskull. I'm here every day at 3 Yes. She looked me right in the eye when she said that. He 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 he. Lying. Don't lie. The snicker. You ever have people look you right in the eye and lie to you and don't even flinch? Oh. Oh, I get it. Yeah. You're right. Maybe because we're the wrong with the wrong um, um, race, perhaps? Sure. A, a senior citizen passes out, calls a lawyer, and sues. And they're gonna sue her ass off. Oh, uh, why she she's she uh she wants favors from you all the time? She's homeless. Oh, like the guy that bumps cigarettes off of him? Well, no, she's not like that. Some Filipino guy is always bugging this man for freaking for his cigarettes. I know a bookkeeper that lost a job because she didn't want to learn the computer system of, of accounting. She got laid off, right? But her place is from Georgia. What's she doing way up here? Her place is from Georgia. Why is she way up here? No. You know? No, they have a... Uh, Microsoft Office has a... Has a Excel. I think. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. Nobody does old fashioned bookkeeping. What is that? Debits and credits? A, a ledger. They used to call it a ledger. Yeah, what's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure they don't do that. That's old. That's old hat. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. No, no, that's your coat. That's your coat. Oh my God, white out. Remember that? Remember white out? Oh. You know how messy and terrible that white out looked. There's no comparison to, to using Excel and, and the, the yeah. Now there's another. Now there's another. There's another program. I have a program that's just as good as Microsoft Office. But it's you don't need to do it. But it's free. It's called it. Libre, Libre Office. Come on, Daisy's a free. It's just as good. You can see our breath in here this morning. Libre Office. Huh? It was our breath. Daisy, turn it off. You she never, it. she never responds to any serious. Anything you say to her, she don't answer back. It goes like a duck, water off a duck's back. They don't want it. She's afraid to. Oh, she's a, she's a sycophant. She's got like the ring. She's, what do they call them? Brown noses, we used to call them in the old days. Apple polishes. They came down here right away that day. Man, you sweat like almighty hell. I thought you were going to pass out. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. You know how cold it was in here in the winter? It was cold. Yeah, they don't put the heat up. We never got heat. Never got heat. Never got no heat. Now we have the air conditioner on and it's cold. You know what I think? The owner tells them not to turn it up. No, no. He doesn't want to. No, he, he doesn't want to see people walking out, and people walk out. They say, I was here last week. I think he was here too, right? The guy walked out again, right? A couple of them did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we met a lot of pissed off people. You don't people. open businesses to lose business. Come on. There's so much money being lost. I see so much stuff go out the door, right? They get out, they bring it to the car, they get out of the car, they bring it back in. My grandpa used to say, penny wise, but pound foolish. What does that mean? That means you're so freaking cheap, you, you, you pinch pennies, but then you end up losing in the long run. You lose. You get in business if you're that stupid. If you're that You've been here just as well as I can. We see how much business is lost. <clears throat> and I tell them that. I tell them that. It's, you can't do this. It's about, it's about thinking long term, is. like you used to teach no, it's me. daily turn two. When it's cold outside, you have the heat on. When it's hot outside, you have the air conditioning on. It's common sense. Right. And Why you, are you doing the opposite? A friend of mine, she works in shop and shop. Right. Fifteen minutes, she's outside, waiting for Fifteen minutes. She come inside here, right? And made a complaint today. Oh, you were outside fifteen minutes? You got a camera? Oh, come on, people. This is just bullshit. No excuse. She don't know how to run a business. I told that to Josie. Josie was outside here two weeks ago. And I know Josie a long, long time. And she came with the second home. And she told you. You know how many... But, uh, no, no, you're wrong though. This is long before Daisy got here. It just has continued. That's all with the story. with the other man. It's never stopped. And it you know how, never stopped. You know how many Caucasian employees were have. ignored when they wanted to take the manager's exam? Uh, how Joe, many uh, white uh, employees? Crystal. No, she beside become Crystal. Crystal wanted to become a manager. No, she didn't. No, no, more. There was more white. Yeah, but she didn't want to be bothered. She told me. What? She didn't want to be bothered. She told me. Said, I don't know. I don't want to do the different hours. Russ never got a break. She asked for the job. They wouldn't give it. Well, she Remember told Russell? She refused it. Brenda didn't want it. Brenda got fed up and quit. Russell quit the one. Mom broke. Russ Russell was here for so long and he's he, the best one they ever had. And he never got the, the, the chubby guy. How's the McDonald's in Satterbrook by Walmart? Is there, are they, I haven't been there in a long time.
Yeah, yeah. Marco and me. We could not come to the top of the table. Marco and me were here. We started an argument. We I haven't been to the buffet in two weeks by by Walmart and Saddlebrook because I have so much stress worrying about stuff, my mom and this and that. I have no appetite. Look look what I'm having for, for brunch. Yeah, it's from all these. It's, it's organic. Yeah, but I, I eat a lot of soups too and I just don't... Well, that's that's what my friend. That's what my friend from my friend from Shanghai, China says. You worrying is not going to change rea the reality of what's going on. It's not going to make it better by you worrying. But you know, it's even though you do, I know. They said she's eighty six. You know what I mean? It's we all, you know, got. God forbid we all have an expiration date. Yeah, but still, I mean, but you know, I'm so used to Billy smoking over there that I went to look, and he's over here. Yeah, we can't go on that side. You know what it is? It, what's weird is my where I live is. I'm not used to it, it's freaking me out. There's nobody there but me now. It's so it's so quiet, it freaks me out. Being home, that's why I try not to be home too too many hours. It's like I'm not but used to sleep and maybe the breakfast or, or the shower and that's about it. Some people tell me they wish their house was that quiet. It's mine. I says, Yeah, but I'm not used to it. It's freaking me the hell out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. You, you, you know what's annoying? You know what's annoying when the when the kids when the kids throw their bicycles and skateboards like all over the place where somebody could trip on them, right? They just leave everything lying, and then they come in. Yeah, the, and then they come here and they don't throw out their garbage. And naturally, people like you. You, you know what? You know what? Also, kind of, it's kind of annoying. I have to stop my car for crossing guards to cross adults perfectly capable physically capable adult people can do not know how to cross an, an inner an intersection i have to stop because the crossing guards have to cross like 21 year olds 40 year olds 35 year olds it's like it's incredible i mean when i was a kid i learned how to cross the street i, I don't mind minors if you're 17 yeah. Pro I do the same thing when I drive on a stop sign. The same thing. You can fly the same thing as you were a child. You know, walking. There used to be a commercial when I was a kid. Cross at the green, not in between. Yeah, I remember that. And, you know, now I have to stop the car for healthy adult and big kids, you know, 17-year-olds, uh, uh, 25-year-olds. Like I said, you know, adults. I don't mind stopping for a senior. I don't mind. Oh, yeah, I don't mind stopping for a disabled person or a child. I don't. I don't mind at all. But when you're a capable person and I have to stop my car, you know, it's like incredibly frustrating. It's almost as bad as the jaywalkers in Hasbro Kites or or towns like Ridgewood. You know, towns where. Yeah, they walk right in front of your car. They just, they just. In Lodi, we have kids that text. They, they're they're crossing Main Street with. Oh, and that's busy. Yeah, they, that I, the island is in the middle there. They, they got the phone right in by, front of. By the library, by the by the, by the uh, amphitheater. Yeah, City Hall, right. I remember when I go to concerts, I'm watching the scenes. What's going on? You know what I told Lodi? And then I drive pretty quick through there too. I go home. You know what I told the cop? When the weather's nice, I told they should have that food truck festival every Sunday because that that went over so. Recently, right? 
that yeah, it went over great. It was the third third annual food truck festival. And man, there were so many different kinds of food there. But these are like good food trucks. These are not like roach coaches, you know what I mean? These are like Yeah, no, these are these are like all kinds of ethnic food is there. I forgot to bring this really funny thing I got in the mail from Vice President Mike Pence. It, it looks like a personal check. It looks like he's giving you a personal check, but he wants you to donate to all the Republicans for, for this November. But it's it's a personal check that you think, ah, oh, somebody's giving me a personal check. <laughs> no. No, I get. Oh, I I get I get I get serious business envelopes from. Insurance. Oh, yeah, 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 it's like or, or, uh, car dealers. Car dealers. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. You, you see the envelope, and it looks like a serious envelope, and then it's either a car dealer or insurance company. Oh, by the way, those pro those progressive commercials are getting really annoying with that 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 woman flow, you know the. Yeah, progressive insurance. <clears throat> oh well. Uh, uh, let me. I don't know if he's coming in now or what. Let me get some. Let me get a little air. I don't know if I'm going to get air with his smoke, but. Quack quack quack. Hello. Oh, oh, you're coming in. All right. There you go. Oh, I know. He's, he was coming in as I was late going out. Oh, your, your shift ends at five. The air is on. Isn't that oh, isn't that great? Oh. Why? This is a. Yeah, but that's that's not, nobody else is running around. Sixty-some degrees Look, outside. look at us. We got jackets on inside. Damn, man! I gotta zip up. You don't need heat. Now, my ex gave me this from the Gap, right? If I put a windbreaker a thin windbreaker jacket over this, I'm warmer than if I put a big winter coat on. Because the air, you know what happens? The cold air goes underneath the winter coat. Well, great story, but the bottom line is it's cold in here. Why is it all yeah. like it? Well, it's, it, it's a lesson in layers, wearing layers. No, don't you know any better? You mean them? There's no excuse for this. No, they don't know, or they don't care. Uh. Why are you freezing people out? We have no heat in the winter. You remember last winter? No heat. You know Why I, do you do this? You know what I think goes through her mind, Daisy, is all she cares about is her comfort zone in, in the kitchen. I mean, I yeah. her, it's different. Come out here. Yeah, so, Let me ask you, when I have... It's about selfish. It's about selfish. We don't have machines out here. End of argument. I should come out here a few times. She, she still, the maintenance guy walked out and he went, oh. I said, yeah, we're freezing out here. I said, why are you doing this? And they won't answer me. Every time, they won't, I said, we're freezing. I'm chilled to the friggin' bone right now. There's no reason for this. I mean, that's why I zipped. Let me ask you, why do you want your clientele to be uncomfortable? No answer, huh? Now look, now I have an automatic scarf. This, this is a great vest. Well, we don't care about the vest. The point is what they're doing I know. here. It's well, thank God you have. Thank God you have that jacket. Is this I know. Why don't they fix it? They're told, but they don't listen. Right back to dad again. You can't get through to people. Remember the other managers that used to say, he broke? He, he broke. broke. I said, no, he not broke. Don't he give me that broke. every single year. It's broken. 
No. Or their accent, he broke. He broke. broke. Said, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh. Can't. Said, I'm so, so tired of this. Can't. They can't work a damn thermostat. You wonder how much money they've lost because people walk out. Oh, we're still making money. But you, you could be making more money. Don't you get it? I can't get through to you. Well, that's what they're pushing them to. I've heard a number of people say, I'm not coming back to this group. The bottom line is what I just said to you. Why are you doing this? Give me a reason. Why are you doing this? Why can't you get it right? And they can't give me an answer. Very simple question, right to the point. So it's it's really not rocket science to, to, to do what he's saying. Make it so difficult. It's numbers. You go up or go down. That's all you have to do. It's called a thermostat. Very simple to work. You know, I had to try to explain to another friend about the thermostat on the air conditioner, about it goes from one to nine, something like that. And you turn it down, put it well, on. No, some, some go to the degrees, eight, you know, yeah. 50, clear up the night and stuff. And yeah, you go to where you want it to be. Right, comfort zone. Why aren't you doing it? So the, the ACs now have what he said, the actual numbers, yeah. They need, they need something. They need something. Where's the regional director? Has she ever taken them back and said, here is how you operate this damn thing? Why hasn't the regional director shown them how to do it? I don't get it. Why are you regional director then? <laughs> You're not directing. That's Boy, like it makes you mad. That's it like, really does. That, that's like when I called the Taylor Wine Company and the guy was in the Philippines and he was an ambassador, a wine ambassador. He knew nothing about the wines. I asked him wine questions. Wine. No, he knew nothing. Yeah, he was a kind of a sewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Kind of a sewer. Yeah. No, he knew nothing about the the New the Taylor New York State wines. I said, "Why are you an ambassador?" Well, that's a that's the title the company gave me. <laughs> Ambassador. Yeah, I'm the Pope. Yeah, look at, <laughs> look at me. I got a Pope hat on. Yeah. <laughs> a, big, a big almond. A big almond. <laughs> That's, cute. That's what it is, actually. Yeah, you know, Taylor Wines is made yeah. from Concord grapes. Yeah. New York. It's an old company, right? It's owned by Constellation Brands, but they outsource. They outsource their customer service to the Philippines. I said, but how can you be an ambassador? Ambassador is like a big word. It's like a big title. <laughs> ambassador. Are those doors open now? Are those doors open to the public or no? No. Then why is it take down? Oh. Good yeah. thing they. Good thing they put. Morning. Good thing they put cones. Why is it down? Yeah. Probably the Nutley Diner waiting for you. <laughs> we should give ourselves that title. Ambassadors on just about every damn thing in life. Yeah. <laughs> Ambassador. Yeah, well, this, this chilly uh, climate, it'll make you go to the bathroom. But I hope there's heat in there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a <laughs> oh, gee, look at this. Oh, no, no, it's called it's called addictive to napkins. No, it's called save money on 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 inferior napkins. It's called addictive so I, don't, I don't have to pay for it. I'm beat, you, I'm beating the system, you Billy. You up just now, like Eileen did running after Ray that day. You, Eileen, listen, the camera was up three seconds. 
As much as I'm on, you are addicted as much to as I don't buy their food, I gotta admit their napkins are very durable. You're addicted. You're denying it. You're addicted to napkins. I don't want to buy them. Three second bands. James beat the system. James you were beat after the after those fashion and I leave was after a raise bar. Holy crap! Isn't she cold? <laughs> I don't know. I guess not. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, uh, you know, they used to, when I worked with seafood and uh, the, man, the manager used to call me bucket boy because every time like a good quality bucket would be empty and they were going to throw it out, but I had to go after it. I take it home. But there were five gallon freaking buckets with handles on them. They were perfect buckets. And I use, I was able to use them. Oh, but boy. they call me Bucket Boy. Ah. All right. Now, if I was from Nantucket, you could make a joke. Young girl, get out of my my, for, my lust for you is way out of line. Oh. What was your first big hit? Something. Mmm, that's a good question. Um, Gary Puckett. First hit. I used to get them confused with the Righteous Brothers for some reason. Didn't they have a Don't similar... Get off the what was their first I'm hit? I'm thinking... I don't know. Woman. One is the oh they did that? No, not woman. That was three dog lie. Woman. Oh woman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. I you've got cheating, cheating on, your, on mind. your mind. That was like when Elvis Presley sang Suspicious Eyes. It, it, the lyrics were kind of similar. But then Conway Twitty sang a song that sounded similar. They all sing songs with the same messages sometimes. Yeah. There's only so many messages you can get out. Come on now. That, that, that went over big, the, the first hit that you mentioned. What a great voice he had, though. Mm -hmm. Oh well, we're living in the end times, everybody. Yeah, so what? Why bother anymore? You know the FBI was didn't really independently do what it would do what they were supposed to do. Who cares? Everything's rigged, Billy. Everything is. Make Putin president. I don't care anymore. I really, honestly, don't care. They know we've got people to protest, but they better do more than protesting. That doesn't seem to be working at all. Yeah. Well, you know the the Republicans were have been protecting Trump's ass this whole time, even though they knew he's he's bonkers. Well, I'm voting all Democrat. I'm a Republican registered. I hope to God. I hope to God there's going to be masses of angry people voting there are. There are. this November. I think that you'll see a big turnout because they will do it. You know what? You know what I tell people that selfishly don't care about voting. I says, you know how long it takes for me to vote? By the time I leave the house, fifteen minutes. Just do it. That's all. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Oh boy, Kavanaugh is going to be in for a thousand years. Well, ago. hopefully, or come to the seat will make him more reliable or whatever. Make him honor the seat. Because he can be in peace. Well, he's going to be under a microscope. Yeah. You, you fuck up, I'll come after you. Well, Trump's under a microscope, so... And nobody does anything. They make excuses for the fucking guy. I don't really understand. When, when, he, when he talks at his rallies, I've never heard so, such misinformation and, and insanity in my life. It's almost embarrassing to... Um, he's not presidential. If it wasn't for his dad, he would be a, a big zero. If it wasn't for his father tr training him and... He did. He was, yeah, it was a scumbag. Yeah. Well, he's a chip off the old block, I guess. Yeah. The apple. What's the old saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. This one's rotten to the core. Oh, this guy, the way he behaves. 
I'm so defensive. And people, certain people like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, Lord. Oh, there you are. Mm. Yeah, you got a point. And then, then again, maybe she, maybe she lives that way. So therefore, she parks there. Yeah. Oh. It's, people can still go on Ottawa, you know. Now, for me to go in Ottawa, <clears throat> I gotta pull into Holiday Inn and go all the way around. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people just go and yeah. shoot right down. I love how secluded the, the garden apartments look back here going towards the Holiday Inn. They're like they seem more secluded, you know? Well, they are. You have no view, though. I know. You have the back of the Holiday Inn. Yeah, that's it. That's your view. <laughs> You're more or less on the front side. <laughs> what's what's yeah, the man. what's the legal update from Jackie? Any good word? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't care. I said I don't give a shit about anything anymore. Yeah, it's dragging on so long. Oh, I'm so cut up with everything. I don't care. <laughs> It's almost, it's almost like if you're, if you're a real rich old person, you can make, you can make your own laws. You can make your own oh, laws. You know? Wanna go? Yeah. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.